We're going to elect Martha Coakley, the next senator for the United States. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I just want to say that there's very little left for me to say. I feel a little bit like I'm the anti-climax of what is a personally a tremendously emotional morning for me. And uh, I, um, I just can't thank everybody behind me enough for the support they're giving me here today, and I know they will when we are successful on January 19th because of what they care about. Thank you, Joe. You've been a friend for a long time, too, and it's been fun to see you through law school. And now I'm, a je I'm jealous a little bit because you have what is one of my favorite jobs is being an assistant district attorney, and you love it. I know that you will, and you have a huge future ahead of you in public service. So I look forward to working with you and I appreciate your support today. And thanks to your dad, to Joe Kennedy, it is always fun to be with Joe, right? He's, he just lights up the room and I've had the opportunity on many occasions where as today he speaks so passionately about what he cares about and what this country needs and how we need to get at it. Uh, and he does uh, have his uncle's way with word. And he has been a great leader and continues to be serving people who need it most in this country. And I appreciate your support today, Joe, and your friendship going forward. It means a lot to me. <laughs> My thanks to Vicki. I can't tell you uh, how important it was to me on election day to get a phone call from Vicki, first thing in the morning, first phone call saying, good luck. Uh, in her calm, steady, graceful, dignified way um, that carried me through what was a tricky day, and I very much appreciated it. Um, and equally, if not more importantly, that night when we had a terrific victory, I heard from Vicki again to call and say, congratulations, I'll be there, I want you to do well, and we want you to win, and that meant so much to me. So to Vicki, to the Kennedy family, for your support, not only today, but I know through January 19th, and I know if I am successful taking on a job uh, that we can't even begin to imagine how difficult it will be. I know Senator Kirk knows. Uh, he will help me too. But I will need the assistance of everybody on this stage to do as well as I can for you to make sure that we accomplish a couple of things uh, that I know Senator Kennedy cared so much about. I'm grateful for Senator Kirk for his advice, uh, for his support today, and I know his support going forward uh, when we are successful on January 19th to carry on so much of the important work that he's been doing with his wisdom and his grace and dignity. Uh, and I cannot think of a better choice uh, for uh, Senator uh, to follow Senator Kennedy. It is incredibly humbling for me to be here this morning. First, as a candidate for that seat held for 47 years by Ted Kennedy. Secondly, to have the support of those closest to Senator Kennedy, those who knew him, his personal life, his private life, as we all in Massachusetts grew up with him, knew what he meant to us and what he did in Washington and in Massachusetts. I always knew that Senator Kennedy loved what he did, whether he was on the floor of the Senate or he was up on Cape Cod, he was out campaigning for somebody else or for himself. You knew that he loved that job and he did it spectacularly well. He was an inspiration to me as he was to everybody in this room to fight for what he believed in, to be passionate about what he cared about and make that clear to people that the fights he took on were important because he cared about the results and to get a good result for Massachusetts and for this country. He worked tirelessly to make sure that our kids could go to quality schools and reach their potential. He fought so that working families would get a, a day's pay for a day's hard work and make sure the level, the playing field was leveled. He did work, as many folks noted today, to make sure that seniors were taken care of and he understood the complexity of the system, trying to make sure you got your pharmaceuticals, that you could pay for your prescriptions, that you could pay, as Joe now does, for your heating oil, for the basic necessities that we owe to our senior citizens, and that somehow get sometimes lost in the crack, particularly with an economic recession like this. 
Particularly, Ted fought for justice and for equal rights for everybody. That's been an incredible inspiration to me as an attorney general, trying to find ways that we make sure in that forum we level the playing field for everybody. And of course, what he referred to as the greatest cause of his life was providing for quality, affordable health care for all. And that's really what brings us here today. As your Attorney General, I've been on the front lines implementing our changes in Massachusetts, where we've gotten people covered and now address those costs. And we have a few ideas in Massachusetts that may be helpful to the rest of the country taking on this incredibly important battle to ensure coverage and to bring down health care costs. I've made health care a priority in the Attorney General's office, establishing a health care division, going after those insurance companies and pharmaceutical companies that violated the law to make sure that we kept costs down. And we can do so much more if we are successful in Washington in passing meaningful and real health care reform and continuing that battle because, as we know, even if it's not perfect, we'll continue to make it as good as it can be, not just for Massachusetts but for everybody, as Senator Kennedy would have done. If I'm elected with your help, that will be order number one, to pass and implement the landmark health care bill. And you and I understand why it's so important and why it was the cause of his life, because it's about people, the single mother who can't afford coverage for her child, who's sick, the woman who shells out money of her own for a less invasive test, saving the insurance company money because then a procedure isn't required and ending up footing the bill because it's not covered. It's about senior citizens, Joe talked about that donut hole, who are forced to pay out of their own pockets for the kinds of prescriptions that they need to stay healthy and to stay well. It's about the young man who just can't find coverage because he has a pre-existing condition. That's just wrong and it doesn't have to be and that's exactly why today in January 19th and going forward is about health care reform. The Senate bill passed last month will be a historic step towards tackling those issues that we face as a commonwealth and as a nation, ensuring more than 30 million Americans, preventing insurers from denying coverage, first for children and then for our seniors and everyone else, because they have pre-existing medical conditions. Who would need health insurance more? It will increase transparency and competition and reduce costs for our families and for our businesses it is good for Massachusetts. It will provide $500 million for Medicaid and Medicare. It offers tax credits to small businesses and not-for-profits to provide health insurance, and it will help businesses pay for their retirees' health care. It will increase the number of low-income folks receiving help paying for their premiums by raising people who are eligible for subsidies, and it will reduce prescription drug prices for seniors. I've spent much of my life as a public servant, taking on big challenges, including health care here in Massachusetts, and working on getting results. I know the process, about bringing, the process of bringing meaningful health care reform has been challenging and difficult. If it weren't, we would have done it well before now. We are very close to passing landmark health care reform that will provide quality, affordable health care for millions of people. And I'm the only candidate in this race who understands and supports that meaningful health care reform. <laughs> My opponent's solution to this tough problem is to block health care reform. And so the choice is very simple. With your help and your vote on January 19th, we can make Senator Kennedy's vision of affordable and quality health care for all Americans a reality. I urge you to help me do that. I want to thank everybody here today for your support in this race. And let's go out and win on the 19th. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.
All right, gang, rock and roll. All right, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank oh, let's go this way. Let's go this way.